Hi, I'm Leadership Development Coach Kathy Archer. This month I'm talking to you about some of the core principles that I use in my training and my teaching and my coaching. Last week we talked about leading your way, figuring out who you are as an individual and as a person and really leading that way. One of the other key messages that I really strongly try and share in my work is that you need to lead with your heart. Your heart is that place that knows. Your heart is that place that guides you and gives you direction. Your heart is that place that hears other people and understands where they're at. It's the place of compassion. It's the place of passion. It's the place of knowing. And I think too often we believe in business and in leadership that our heart doesn't belong there, that we need common sense and we need to you know, follow the guidelines and the rules and the structures and the strategic plan and the goals and all the outcomes and the expectations. But what about our heart? What about that place where, you know, we feel emotions and we know that those people that we're working with feel that. That's a really important place to start from. I can think of a ton of examples where I've had to make decisions and it didn't feel good, didn't feel right, it didn't, it didn't, feel authentic it didn't feel real and it didn't fit with my heart and I really struggled with those decisions and you know at the end of the day they weren't the right decisions to make other times though I have made decisions with my heart and it's felt bang on and while it wasn't the right decision to make we all knew it was the right decision and and people were able to to rally around my decision and we figured out how to make it happen I can think of a particular situation with a client where, you know, we weren't supposed to make this decision around where he was living and what he was going to do. And the truth was, we all knew it had to be made. We all knew it was the only way. It didn't matter what the rules were and what the expectations were and what the funding model said. We needed to do it this way. And that was leading with my heart. And, you know, at the end of the day, no one disagreed with the decision I made. And in fact, it taught us a lot about decisions going forward from there. But it took a lot of guts for me. It took a lot of courage for me to make some of those decisions. Your heart is a place that in leadership is often blocked or closed. And what I encourage you to do is slow down enough, connect to that place. You know, I often do work in my training where I make people put their hand on their heart. Try that. Try it now. You know, place your hand on your heart and, you know, just feel into that place of why you're doing this work. You know, what brings you here? What directs you and what leads you and what guides you? And come back to this place often. Leading with your heart will make you stronger and it will give you the courage and the confidence to go into those really tough places. Try it more often.